Oh yeah, no. I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna be the. Oh. Uh. Uh, sorry, I, I just tripped. Uh, let me call you back. Looks like somebody lost their toy. I could take it to the airline desk, but it'll put me even more behind. But I can't just leave it here. Hmm. I guess it's a sacrifice I'll have to make. Which reminds me of the next stop my niece and nephew made with me on our life-changing trip. It all started when we landed in Haiti. God first gave the Israelites his law through Moses so that they could understand that God is holy. The law showed that people are sinners. The law could not save the people, but it was like a shadow, hinting at something greater. Under the law, the people offered sacrifices for their sins, but they were still guilty. It is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Jesus came to be the ultimate sacrifice for sin. He came to do God's plan. 
ending the old way of sacrifices by offering himself as the perfect sacrifice once and for all. Under the law, the priests stood day after day, offering the same sacrifices, but those sacrifices never took away sins. But Jesus came to offer himself one time. Then he sat down at the right hand of God. With one sacrifice, Jesus takes away the sin of everyone who trusts in him. The Lord said, I will never again remember their sins and the wrong things they have done. Because God forgives our sin, we no longer need to make a sacrifice to pay for sins. Because all of this is true, God calls us to live in a way that honors him. He invites us to come to him with boldness and without fear. Jesus' blood has made the way for us to have hearts that are clean and without guilt. Jesus makes us pure when we have faith in him. He gives us hope and we can tell the whole world about it. We can trust him to do all that he has promised. We can help one another do what is right by loving others and doing good works. We can meet together and encourage one another because one day Jesus will come again. Jesus came to be the sacrifice for sin. He lived a sinless life, died on the cross, and rose from the dead. In him, we have complete forgiveness once and for all. Woo! Beach day! Uh, it's so nice out today, and I brought my new snorkel, and my sunscreen, and my hat, and whoa, whoa, whoa. These things are all great, but we're not here to just go in the ocean. Well then, why are we here? This is the next stop on our trip. As you can see, Haiti is a beautiful country surrounded by blue ocean and sandy beaches, but it's a country that also faces a lot of challenges. There have been a lot of natural disasters like earthquakes and hurricanes over the years that have made it really hard for kids here to live a life like yours. Wow, so I guess for people that live here, this isn't always just an island vacation every day. Guys, look, over there. What are those kids doing? Are they coming to the beach too? Yeah, wait, why are they putting water in those big yellow cans? I don't think those are beach toys, Carter. Those look super heavy. Are they going to carry those cans of water somewhere? Yeah, that's Marie and Samuel. I met them a while back in my travels. They walked a long way to fill up their water cans today, and now they're going to walk home to bring clean water to their families. This is something they do because natural disasters have limited their access to fresh water. Wow, do you think they want to come to the beach with us instead? It's such a nice day today. Well, that sounds super fun, but Samuel and Marie are helping their family, even if it means not being able to do things that they want to do. It's just a sacrifice they choose to make to help their family. That's what's more important. Whoa, I never thought about it that way. I was so focused on what I wanted. You know what this reminds me of? Um, no. You're surprised by their willingness to sacrifice their time, but there's someone who was willing to sacrifice way more than that for us, even though we didn't deserve it. Jesus came to be the perfect sacrifice for our sin. He lived a sinless life, died on the cross, and rose from the dead. In him, we have complete forgiveness once and for all. And he invites us to come to him with boldness without fear. So because Jesus sacrificed himself for us, we should make sacrifices too? Yep. God calls us to live in a way that honors him, but we don't have to make sacrifices. The works we do are faithful responses to the call of God, like the laws that his people followed before Jesus came. But these laws and the works we choose to do doesn't save us. Instead, they point us to the truth that we need a perfect savior to rescue us from sin. But we are still called to help one another and do what is right by loving others and doing good works. So what sacrifices can you make not only here, but at home? Mm, I'd have to think about that. I have an idea. Let's go ask if they need any help carrying those water home. Then maybe we can all play at the beach with the time we have left today. Let's go. Who am I that the highest 
This was a hard stop for Lainey, but she learned a really valuable lesson. She learned that Jesus lived a sinless life and died on the cross as the ultimate sacrifice for our sins, even though we don't deserve it. Jesus sacrificed for us, and we are called to live in a way that honors God, even if it means making sacrifices of our own for others. Anyways, there are still so many adventures that await. See you soon. <laughs>